So a Bojangles is coming to downtown Florence and a lot of y'all aren't very excited about it, but you should be. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, serving the entire PD. And today we got some Bojangles. Why? Because as many, probably most of you, if you're watching this video, and your local have heard the news that there is a unique Bojangles coming to downtown Florence right there on um, Irby Street in between s and Printing and King Hefe. Now this is a unique Bojangles and I don't think the details have been specified. I've heard a couple different rumors about maybe they're not gonna have fried chicken because of kitchen space. I'm not really sure. But what I can say and what we do know definitively is that coming expected late this fall, there will be a Bojangles right there in that space in between those other two businesses as mentioned. And like I said in the intro, a lot of y'all aren't excited about that, but you should be. And I would say that the reason that many of you are not is because you're not seeing the big picture. Now, nobody, and I do mean nobody, is harder on franchises than this Florence Foodie. I promise you that uh, I'm very tough on franchises. I think that franchises often underperform. And so if I go out of town to eat somewhere or even locally, if we go out to eat at a local restaurant, we almost never go to a franchise. We usually go to a locally owned business. And it's not just because we want to support locally owned businesses, which we do think is important, but they have a better product consistently across the country from what I have seen. But that does not mean that franchises do not have their place. In case you're wondering, this is a Cajun filet biscuit with egg and cheese added. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And I'll give you an example of five guys, right? So we're ranking burgers, best burger in Florence. We actually haven't done one of those videos in a couple of weeks. We need to get back to that here soon. And we are not looking at franchises. But if we were, five guys would be number one or two on my list easily because a lot of franchises will have an item or items that they do really well as long as they execute. But there's also a familiarity element. And that's really what ties into what makes this such a home run for our community here in Florence. So I told you all in a previous video that I talked to a well-renowned chef some months back about uh, investing in Florence, about setting up shop in Florence. And he told me people in Florence only want chain restaurants and fast food, to which I said, historically, that's been true. But that is changing in this community. But therein lies the beauty of this, of why there's value in a franchise like Bojangles establishing a presence in downtown. There's a few reasons for it. Even though we're getting away from that and things are changing, that stigma still has a lot of truth for our area. So what's going to happen is that a brand like Bojangles is going to draw a whole lot of extra foot traffic to downtown Florence that possibly was never going to be down there. And so there are a lot of people in our community or maybe even that pass through that wouldn't visit Victor's or Town Hall or El Agave, the different places are holy smoke and the places that are downtown, but they'll go to Bojangles and it gets them in the area. Foot traffic is the key word. And that's that's going to happen. This Bojangles is going to perform well. You can mark my words on it. It's going to do well. How can I be so confident? For one, you've got the Emerson right there. For two, you've got all the Francis Marion students. For three, you've got Hotel Florence, the high, uh, the hotels that are there, the city employees at the courthouse, the law firms, et cetera. And we haven't even mentioned the hospital. And there's two things to that. One, everyone in our community, they're not official certified Florence foodies like you and I. And they are still in that crowd that just prefer their mainstays, their brand names that they're familiar with that they can go to. Not to mention the fact that even though fast food is getting outrageous, I paid almost $11 for this one combo. It's ridiculous. But by and large, a place like Bojangles is still going to be a cheaper option than the other options that are in the area for the most part. So regardless of what the menu ends up being, because there is some speculation about what the menu is going to look like, it's going to perform well. The other thing is that a lot of the larger cities in the United States, they have some of these brand name restaurants in their downtown. So believe it or not, this actually adds an element of character. It really does in a way solidify some legitimacy to what has basically been a project downtown to just see what could happen. A brand establishing a presence down there 
really actually does legitimize our downtown in a real way. And for Florence, South Carolina, I said this before, I can't think of any brand more perfect than Bojangles. We're, we're the home of the Southern 500. It was, it's not anymore, but it was the Bojangles Southern 500 for the longest. You know what I mean? It's Darlington, but still. A lot of the race um, traffic and tourism on race weekend is in Florence. The other option I said would be Chick-fil-A, but Bojangles was perfect to me. Now, for me personally, as a lifelong South Carolina fan, and any of you out there, whether South Carolina, Clemson, or Georgia, however y'all made it here, or whatever, that are familiar with Columbia and williams Bryce, the Bojangles right down the road is like a staple. And so even though the food's terrible on game day because it's cold and it's a nightmare, it's still a tradition. And so the idea of going down to this Bojangles on a Saturday morning grabbing something like this to eat real quick and then heading over to one of the other establishments to watch a football game at noon or whenever it may be is actually really enticing. I'm kind of excited about that. With all those things being said, the point I want to get across to you guys in our community that are not excited about this move is this. I'm challenging you to step outside of your personal preferences and look at the big picture. I know many of you saw the news that this was coming and you're like, man, like there's so many different things I would like to eat that are unique that we don't have access to that I would like to see there. And I get it. I've been clamoring for the longest banging this drum about we need a New York deli downtown. As soon as we can find the right operator, God willing, we're going to do whatever we can to see that happen. But none of that negates the value in Bojangles establishing presence in that location. And it's exactly what I said. The Bojangles itself is going to perform well. I will confidently say that you can mark my words and see how this ages. Especially if they execute like this every time. Shout out to the Bojangles on Celebration. They executed extremely well today. But it's going to draw more traffic to a downtown scene that is developing. This only adds to what's going on in downtown Florence. It does not detract in any way. Because even those of you that aren't happy with the move, you're still going to go to Town Hall. You're still going to go to Victor's. You're still going to go to the Leaf Lounge. You're still going to go to Holy Smoke. And you're still going to go to King Hefe right next door. You're still going to do what you do. You're just not happy with this move. This is nothing but positive, I'm telling you. And that's coming from an official Florence foodie. I'm not going to steer you guys in the wrong direction. Not intentionally, at least. So look, with that being said, I hope that you guys can see the big picture in this. Uh, the extra foot traffic and revenue. Being drawn to the area is a positive thing. I think it was the perfect franchise to go there for our community. Remember, that whole affinity towards fast food chains and chain restaurants, in this case, can be leveraged, and I will say is being leveraged for a greater purpose, even if it's not intentional by the franchise owner that's establishing that Bojangles in that location, that is going to be some of the fallout, in my opinion. So with that being said, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this. I'm definitely interested to hear you guys feedback and opinions and thoughts on this newest development It's set to open late fall. I don't think we have an exact date or timeline, but that's right around the corner, right in the heart of football season. So I'm excited about it. It's just another development to our downtown that I really think adds a lot of character. And like I said, solidifies some legit legitimacy to downtown Florence in a way that I don't think everybody's really seeing and grasping. But I 100% think that that's an accurate assessment of the situation. And so with that being said, I look forward to seeing some of y'all in downtown Florence in the days to come. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you in the next video.